Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kate's Quarantine Kitchen, or the very first episode of Quarantine Quarterback Kitchen. That's right, we're doing a game day series of foods. So today, it's very early, which is why I'm in my all together, if you will, I'm very tired, it's very early, because we are making some crock pot hot apple cider that we will be spiking. It's going to be really good. But first things first, we're going to make a Bloody Mary so that we can focus up. So behold, my vodka. No, I don't measure it because I'm a monster. Although standard Wisconsin measurements dictate that you measure vodka by your cup. So whatever cup you have, you fill it halfway with vodka. I'm pretty sure that's frowned upon, but it, I don't care. And the best Bloody Mary mix in the whole world, Zing Zing. Please sponsor me, Zing Zing. Much better. Now we can begin. So we're making some hot spiked cider in the crock pot, and I'm not gonna lie to you, there's not a lot to it. <laughs> it's very easy. So the only reason we need to start early is because it needs to be in the crock pot about six to eight hours. And as we know, football is unreasonably early. I don't know why they do it like that, but here we are. With my crock pot, I have two quarts of water. And then we're just going to dump in about four pounds of apples that I have chopped in front of me. I used Gala apples or Gaia apples. I'm not actually sure how you say it, but they're apples and you can actually do different kinds of apples as long as they're not like, I suppose you could make crab apple cider, but 10 out of 10 would not recommend. And I have an orange here that I cut into little segments. Oops, there's a sticker. I'm a professional. And then we're gonna do four cinnamon sticks. I have like three and a half, or well, there's about four in there. We're just gonna have one. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of allspice and Cloves, whole, whole of spice, whole cloves. And then we're gonna add half a cup of brown sugar. And that's it guys, you put it on low and let it just sit there for like six to eight hours and you've got homemade apple cider. That's it. I guess we will we'll return when it is cooked and you will get to watch me drink it with a look of utter joy. This is one of my favorite seasonal beverages. I love hot apple cider. And I'm one of those people who gets like too excited like in August and I'm like, it's still too hot. You'll ruin it if you drink it now. So I have to wait. It's a, it's a battle. But we've all got our own things, don't we? We're back. We're ready for the game. Yeah. This is Joe, Billy's brother. Hey. He's here to watch the game with us, and I'm forcing him to do this, sort of. And they're feeding me, too. We're feeding him. Yeah. It'll be okay. Lots of chicken soup. So, first Love thing it. I'm going to do with our cider is I'm going to add caramel to the bottom, if I can open it, okay, to the bottom of our cups. Caramel. Because once you pour the cider on top, it'll help melt it and help integrate it. And I like, like it honey. this way. Yeah. Exactly like honey. Put it in the hot tea, otherwise it's useless, right? Yeah, but we're adding gooses. It's good hot tea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always so, in the booze. I'm going to add a smidge of lime juice, too, because it helps make it a little dust zesty. So just like a dash. Zesty. Zesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm going to put about two shots of this Kraken Black Spice Rum. It's my favorite. It goes so well with all winter spiked hot drinks. It's just perfect. It's like two shots, but I'm not measuring it. We may die today. Uh, yeah, that's worth. It's great. Worth. 
<laughs> you have to add the cider first, Joe. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of mash down the cooked apples and oranges and everything to get all the juices out. And just make it super de duper. Get just get all the yeah. That, that's basically. We're just gonna get all the juices out. That sums it up. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. So we've mashed it down, and now we're going to strain it. Personally, I'm just gonna scoop it into this bowl using the ladle instead of pouring it, because that sounds like a lot of work, and it sounds awful. Well, you got another pair of hands. Well, I know, but it's heavy and it's hot. Okay. That would suck. Yeah. You nobody got time for that. Nobody. Nobody. Nope. We'll probably do it over the bowl. Boop. Pitter patter. I'm going. I'm going. I'm scoop. Uh oh. Game starting, Kate. I'm going. Let's I'm go. Going. Ooh, that looks good. It's a nice orange color. Okay, very cider. Orangey brown color. Yeah. I'm using my spoon to mash it down to get more of the juices out. Mm, those delicious juices. The juices. Sounds so gross. Juicy. So gross. Moist. Squishy. Are we just Squishy. listing all the Squishy. words we, the gross sounding words that we know? Is that what we're doing? Right. Poof. All right. Yeah. Billy, get a close up of this. Billy, get a close up. Come on. Close up, Billy. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. See that delicious orange Look color? It. Oh, yeah. Look, Look at, at that. So then after you pour it, you want to promptly stir it, so that way you get the caramel all mixed in and it's all nice and hot, right? Yeah, Joe's taking over, man. He's in charge go. of the show now. There you go. Okay, see this. Watch out, Kate. Here I come. Alright, cheers. Cheers! Oh, that's strong and good. Oh, it's sweet. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. That caramel really hits the spot. You need to add the caramel. Caramel's where it's at, man. There's brown sugar in it. I'm sure it could work with honey, too. Maybe? It's like you're entering hot toddy territory. Yeah, oh, okay, that's hot toddy. It's not really my Got deal. It. The hot cider is my territory. Alright, so what's the what's the consensus? Is this good hmm. stuff? Um, out of ten, I'd say you nailed the number uh, the amount of alcohol perfectly to complement the uh, amount of caramel and the amount of cider that you put in. Really impressed with how you uh, handled the cup uh, the caramel or the the squishing. The squishing, yes. The squishing, yeah. That was really very impressive about the strainer. Um, so overall, I'd say about a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for Kate's quarantine kitchen quarterback, whatever this is. Quarantine quarterback kitchen. As you guys know, <laughs> quarantine. Stay safe. Like and subscribe. You can hear Billy mumbling in the background. But do all those things. Enjoy your game day with the few people you allow yourself to be near during quarantine, because these are the tough times, and Joe's back. Wait. Ah! No! Unwanted. Alright, bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell. There you go. Bye. Hi, hey. Charlie. What are you doing? She is a, a she guest teacher. She wants to be part of this, too. You want to be oh. part of it? What's Mama doing? What's happening? Do you want some cider? Yeah. yeah. She's so unhappy. <laughs> Like, why am I being picked up right now?